The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the January 2nd, the terrific Thursday edition of today's Trader Z Show. Hope everyone knows. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hope you had a, a great New Year's Eve celebration. Uh, hopefully no hangovers or minimal hangovers yesterday. I kind of hate those one-day holidays. Yeah, we, we need, it doesn't feel much like a holiday, does it? In any event, great to be back with you to open up uh, 2020. You can give us a call at 877-927-6648. We'd love to hear from you. If you can't give us a call, you can uh, reach me by email. You can send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question, of course, in our Tiger's Den. Well, any in every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on terrific Thursday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, we've got the Dow up 182 points. That's about six tenths of a percent to the upside. S&P's up 11, three tenths of a percent. NASDAQ 100 is up one full percentage point. That's 89 points. Whereas the Russell 2000, it's taken a break. It's down 13 points. That's nearly three quarters of a percent. That is trading to the downside. The only other indice trading to the downside, well, it's a spot fix index. She's trading out at 1282, headed lower out there. It's below its 50-day exponential moving average. So we should, should see the S&P 500 continue to move higher. We'll try to figure out where it is headed to. Uh, gold's up five bucks, silver 13 pennies. Lights we crude is off 18 cents. Lead the charge to the upside. It is Mercado Libre. 41 buckaroonies. That is a nice move. That's 7% to the upside. Even nicer is uh, NetEase, up nearly 10% or $30. Amazon's up 30, but th that is 1.5%. Uh, you got Chipotle up 14, about 1 and 3 quarters percent. Now, painting the town red is Sherwin Williams. She is or he is the leader to the downside of 13 bucks dollar wise that is. That's a little over 2%. Marathi Therapeutics off 10 bucks or 8%. Novo Cure down 8 and 10% respectively. Illumina is down 7 and 2. But we do have some requests already that are in the uh, oven. So let's go to those. Michael H writes in and says, uh, "Hey Steve, fuel cell energy Ticker, ticker symbol here, folks, is F-C-E-L. I, th I think I heard Basil talking about it, but it might have come from a different person, so that's interesting. But uh, uh, Michael goes on to say, uh, sold this on, uh, on Tuesday after realizing large gain. Uh, that's great. Uh, could you please recommend an approach for going long again? I'm willing to be patient, thinking this could be the start of a longer-term uptrend. So let's go take a look at fuel cell. Let's do it like we do for each of the instruments we look at. You know, where's the trading in relationship to market profiles? Daily, it's above. That would say, believe it or not, your support on a daily basis, Michael, is 69 cents. She's trading at 227 right now. The weekly, Prices above the weekly box, your support there, profile-wise, 85 cents. However, price is trading above the monthly profile. That's at 236. I take that back. You are not trading above the top of the monthly profile. Uh, 236 is that level, and that's where it's run into, in essence, resistance out here. So let's go take a look at the other charts. What do they say to Mikey and Stevie out here? Well, today is going to be bar number nine of a TD setup nine count out there as well as an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. So selling on Friday at this stage of the game looks like a good thing. Price did pull back. We can see into a gap to the upside. Uh, but your entry point here, a more realistic, perhaps more realistic entry point, would be around a buck 43. A buck 43 is Stevie's green line. Uh, that's what I would use at this stage of the game. That's on the daily time frame. If price were to close below that, boy. You know, then it's gonna. Then we then we would be taking a look at the top of that daily uh, box that I gave you, which was 69 cents out there on a weekly basis. If we take a look at fuel cell, 
try to see what kind of resistance is out here. It's at $3.52. So as we take a look at a weekly time frame chart, doesn't really show uh, anything uh, to be concerned about, uh, but that daily may be driving that retracement. On the weekly, I don't have a, a great entry point for you other than the uh, top of that profile. And on the monthly basis, you know, that's not going to provide you or I or with much. So we're going to have to stick with a buck 44 at the moment. Uh, and uh, so best of luck, uh, Mike, and uh, nice, uh, nice trade out there. Tim writes in, and Tim says, Happy New Year. Well, Happy New Year back at you, Tim. XLC, which is the communications sector inside the S&P 500. And Tim's question is this. Could you please look at XLC? Is it topping? or simply pulling back. So let's go take a look at XLC. Right now what we know is price is above the top of its daily profile. It was a bearish structured profile that acted as support on, uh, I can't want to say Friday, but really that was on Tuesday out there. If we look at the weekly set of charts out here, price is above the top of that box. The monthly doesn't have enough information to uh, let us know. So the question was, is it topping? Well, let's go take a look at the patterns out here. Let's go to Stevie's white background charts. And what are we going to see? We're going to see that this has a TD setup nine count top that's in play. And so far today, the move has been nothing more than a test of resistance. That's Stevie's green line right around the 53, call 54 level out here. However, what, what this has not done, Tim, uh, so it's got the topping pattern. And when you have a topping pattern in place, the responsibility of sellers is to try push to try to push price down to support. Well, on the daily chart out here, we can see you've got the top of the box, which price is over. But as Tuesday showed both you and I and everybody else out there that the top of the box, old resistance, can become new support. That's your first level of support. That's 53.43. You have a bullish structure profile. So if price gets back inside that box, that means between 52.70 and 53.43, uh, sellers should be able to push price down to 52.70 to 52.88. And below that would be 52.34. The question was, is this, a, is this topping? or simply a pullback. Right now, it's got a valid topping pattern, but it has not busted through support out there. And we've just taken a look at those support levels on the daily time frame. But let's go take a look at the weekly time frame, see what we have out here. Do we have a uh, perfecta? Is that what they call perfecta? When you've got two horses that you bet on? I think that it is, but that could be way off the uh, mark out there. Only bet on a few horse races out there just not my thing. So if we take a look at the weekly time frame chart, this too has a TD setup nine count pattern. Last week was the bar following bar nine. As long as price, Tim, stays below that, you've got and closes below that, you've got a uh, You've got a uh, topping pattern here. Now, in this case, price would need to close below Stevie's green line. That is 53.06. And on the monthly time frame, let's pull that over here in the monthly time frame. Although we don't have any market profile information, let's just see if there's any pattern worth noting out here. And the answer is there isn't. So I'm going to answer your question this way. There's absolutely two topping patterns in place for the communication services sector of the S&P 500 for its daily in its weekly time frame. But thus far, support has held. So what does that mean? It's really more of a, a neutral um, outlook than it is anything else. Tim, thanks for writing in. Happy New Year to you. We get back from this break. We're going to go take a look at a request from Lee B. And we're going to go take a look at a request. Where's the other request coming in? Oh, it's coming in from Brent in Martinez, California. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. 
Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call, call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, Dow currently up 172, S&P about 10, NASDAQ 100 up 86 points out there. So LB writes in, and he wants to take a look at uh, ticker symbol ACB. And uh, can you give me a good entry point on ACB? Looking for a long-term hold. Thank you. So that is Aurora cannabis out here and uh, right now this is trading with inside a daily profile really hard to see it uh, but let me share with you LB that the uh, profile 193 is a uh, is the bottom and the center of its box out there I, and it's trading back inside the profile 212 is the top of the box and so I would say a buck 93 is one of the levels you'd look at price is below the weekly so we can't use a profile there and it's below the monthly so in, in we have to find some bottoming patterns or signals out here on the daily time frame i think we talked about this on tuesday might have been there's really um, a couple different patterns out here there's a roads momentum indicator signal we don't have the bullish reversal candle yet to confirm that but we do have a td9 count pattern that doesn't require a bullish reversal candle out there. So you do have a valid bottoming pattern. 250 would be your resistance or your first resistance, at least that would be on the daily time frame. The weekly, as we take a look at the weekly time frame, what do we see out here? The weekly tells us or suggests to us that this week could be bar number eight of a TD setup nine count. Now, our preference there is that this week's low would be below last week's low. Last week was a buck 90. This week's low so far. This week's low so far is uh, only 240. Is that no? Okay, hold on a minute here. Hold, hold my horses, would you? This week's low is a buck 88. So the weekly is saying, okay, potential. Now in a TD9 count, the bottom in this case here, if it is going to form a bottom, 
would would could or should occur on bars either eight and nine. That would be next week or the week after bar number ten. But you've got uh, so you've got a valid bottoming pattern in place on the uh, weekly time frame. The monthly, you said long term out here. So just to give it all to you, the long term buy level on ACB would be a buck sixty. A buck sixty is the breakout level on the monthly time frame right now. Again, trading at two hundred three. So LB, best of luck with you. Best of luck for you on your on uh, a c b out there thanks so much for writing in so brent writes in and it looks like he wants to take a look at occidental petroleum oxy or two instruments out here so let's uh, first pull that up and uh, let me just do a quick uh, scan here uh, da, 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 uh long both of these at lower price there's some call options um assessment of wave counts and resistance levels and so on so let's go take a look at those so here's what we know about occidental petroleum let me get rid of a few things that are on this uh, chart as we speak right now we might have looked at those earlier for something um there's an a to b equals cd pattern so here's what we know right now brent uh price is moving higher uh, it's above the daily profile. It's above the weekly profile right now. Looks like it's going to close above that. That, by the way, is 4020. And it's in a bullish structured monthly profile. Bullish structured, folks, let me just expand this out. If you're new to the show or you're new to me or even if you're not new, sometimes um, just repeating some things is, is helpful. And when I say helpful, I'm going to turn off price here and we're taking a look at the market profiles. Now, one of the things, one of the responsibilities one of my services to you during the show is be able to help you identify support and resistance. Really key out here. When we can, we like to be able to understand is there a strong support or strong resistance. One of the ways to do that is to understand its market profile. And if price is trading with inside that profile, which Occidental Petroleum is, we'll turn price on. You'll be able to see that. But what I want you to see is that we have a brand new profile that is formed out here. And that profile, that's the uh, lower section. Let me just go ahead and just really mark it off uh, for everybody out there. What you're going to see is there's three lines. Most of the times there's three lines. The top is resistance. That would be where selling are the bottom is support that would be where buyers are and the center is where there's both buyers and sellers so just logically thinking here when there's an area where there's both buyers and sellers the center which is at 4195 and is closer to the bottom of the box at 3960 well then what that tells us is that is very strong support now what I've also learned in analyzing thousands of charts out here is that when you get a nice close above the center of that box out here on a bullish structured profile, it's the opposite on a bearish structured, you're typically gonna go ahead and run all the way up to the highs out there. Now I know you've got some call options and so this may be too long term for you, I don't recall, but this does look like at this stage 5369 is game on for you. As we take a look at Occidental Petroleum on a daily basis, well, it's dealing with a resistance level as we speak right now, Brent, and that's the price point of 4230. So closing above that today and then tomorrow would be positive to suggest 40 4576 would be on deck for you. And then as I take a look at the weekly time frame chart here for Occidental Petroleum, uh, this is going to show us that price here is headed to 45 42. That's your next resistance level there. So I hope that helps y'all, Brent, on Occidental Petroleum. We will go back and take a look at the other instrument that you requested, which is Baidu. But we've got a caller on the line, and we've got call ahead seating here at the Trader's Edge. So let's go out to Mark in Massachusetts. Mark, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Good. I bought some puts on Apple, the 300. Okay. And I went out a month, and um, I bought them at uh, a little bit of a premium, but it's when the stock hit 298.50. Okay, so the question is, has Apple topped, right? So if we take yeah. a look at yeah, so if we take a look at Apple out here, um, the my my, and we take a look at the daily time frame chart. I don't have a topping signal. So topping signals or patterns, there would be like the A to B equals CD pattern. I won't draw that in on the daily time frame. Um, uh, price moving higher, doing less relative energy. It is not doing that. A TD set up nine count. Uh, so what that tells us, Mark, is that today is bar number seven. If a TD nine count, as an example, were to identify the top, it would either be tomorrow, Friday, 
Monday or Tuesday of next week where you would see that topping signal. So Apple gapped up today. Uh, that's a bullish signal out there. Um, and, uh, and I don't see any kind of bearish reversal candles or anything anywhere nearby. So I don't see, I, I, I'd be concerned right now and take a look at the daily time frame chart. You may be right on the trade, but just wrong on the timing. But if you're asking me, is there some type of topping pattern out there? The answer is no. And today's gap up is a real cautionary sign. That's a daily time frame. Let's look at the weekly time frame. Now, in the weekly time frame, last week was bar number nine of a TD setup nine count. Remember, out of TD setup nine count for a higher low. In this case, we're talking about highs. If there is going to, if this is going to identify a top, then it can occur on bars eight, nine, or ten. So that's this entire week. So this would say if you're early. Uh, it would be next week on Monday, as long as it didn't make a higher high or close to a higher high, where that would say, okay, potential top in place. Now, a TD9 count on the daily time frame doesn't have to make higher highs. It just each bar's close needs to be a close above the bar four bars earlier out there. So the nine, so the weekly chart says, okay, maybe you're just early by a day or so. Or maybe more than that, because if next week's, if this week's high and you see a close above it next week, that would tell us that you're definitely on the wrong side of the uh, trade out here. And the monthly chart out here shows that price is rising, but doing it with less relative strength. But this is only a problem if there's a bearish reversal candle. Now, we're going into a breakout there. So if you've got some additional questions, hang on through that. But at this stage here, I don't see the topping patterns just yet to be short Apple. All right, Thank Mark, you. we'll be right. Yeah, oh, you, you bet. Thanks so much for calling. That was Mark in Massachusetts. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. 
This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, Dow is up 176. S&P is up uh, 10. And uh, so let's go back and uh, do this here, even though I know, Mark, uh, we were taking a look at Apple. And so I want to really kind of assist uh, Mark here. And I know you've got an option trade. Uh, and I, I don't recall, but I think you said that was out there fairly far. But Look, here, here, here's one of the other tools that I use to assist us in calling the market. Uh, we've been talking about those TAS market profiles for the different instruments out here. But here we're taking a look at those TAS market profiles uh, for the equity futures contract. And the one that you're focused on here, Mark, really should be the NQ. Now, the reason that you're focused on that, as you know, but just to share with others, is that Apple represents somewhere between 11 and 12 percent. Last time I checked uh, of the NDX 100, the number one holding inside, I believe Microsoft is just behind that. So I know they jostle in there. I think that's 10 to 11 percent uh, out there. So uh, but but so they're the leaders, right? So they're leaders from a weighting standpoint. So when we take a look at what the NQ is doing, it's also telling us about uh, what's going on inside the marketplace out here. And right now, uh, price is close on, on Tuesday. Uh, price had closed in the NQ above the top of that profile, which had just formed the day before. That level is 87.69. So when price is above that, is telling you that you're close to breakout mode out here. I say close because what you're really looking for, Mark, is the numbers 88.43.50. That's the actual 2019 high inside the NQ. Price has traded above it, but it has not held that. You're at 88.38. If you see a close today above 88.43.50, that's telling you that uh, right now you're on the wrong side of the uh, trade out there and that the NQ wants to trade higher. Now, you're going to say, or you should say, we'll trade higher to where? Well, if we take a look at the uh, primary trading ranges, you're going to see that right now price is trading right into the top of its weekly uh, horizontal trading range. That's at 88.54. So at, um, if price closes above 88.54, there's no reason that the NQ can't make a move up to 91.75 out there. Um, so watch, watch, watch the all-time high inside the NQ. If it's trading above that, you, you know, I just, you, you may, this is a game of, um, I know you want to be on the right side of the trade out here, and I can't see into the future, but I can see into the present right now, like you, and our role, yours and mine, is to figure out support and resistance or topping patterns that are out there, and then make the, and assess the market and make the call uh, that way. Um, the uh, I don't know what the weighting is uh, for uh, Apple inside of the Dow out here. Um, but in any event, I've just not seen the topping signals inside the NQ right now. And uh, in the NQ on the five-hour time frame, on the five-hour time frame from here, price is dealing with a resistance level of 88.37. You're at 88.39. And if you see it close above 88.37, its message is that you're going to see higher price. So in that case, you should see, you should feel more pressure, I would think, inside of that uh, Apple trade. So I hope that that helps you out. Let's go to uh, Fort Worth and speak with Roy. Roy, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you? Pretty good. Happy New Year, Steve. Thank you. Same, same to you. Now, you're calling about an instrument that we already spoke about. Did you hear that discussion? Uh -huh. No. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm Johnny. Come lately, I guess. Uh, no, no, no. no that's okay. Here tonight, then. No, no, no. That's okay. I just didn't know if you had heard it and you had some other question. But just give me your question, and then I can, and I'll, I'll absolutely assist you. Okay. Yeah, I got in uh, average price of 161, and I uh, took profits on half of it today. I was just looking for um, where it might uh, go to, bottoming out, and when to get back in, if possible. Sure. Yeah, so the place that I would be looking out here at this stage of the game, because it does have a topping pattern, which is a TD setup nine count, uh, this last right. top with a TD setup nine count, it also last bottom with a TD setup nine count. So you and I, in the case of fuel cell, FCEL, we've got respect for that TD setup nine count. The answer to your right. question, 
the first possible place of an entry into fuel cell would be about a buck 42. A buck 42 is the current price level of its oscillator and change line. That will increase or decrease by pennies or so. Um, and I have to watch time. But right now, the answer to your question would be around that buck 42 level. And if price closed below a buck 42 or closed below my green line, I'd take it down to about 78 cents or 70 cents. So I like the idea that you exited the trade based upon these patterns, based upon how it seems to respond to the TD nine count, and it does look uh, like this wants lower price. A buck forty-two to seventy-eight cents would be the range. Unfortunately, that's a very large range out there. So you want to watch what's happening. If price does pull back to a buck forty-two, Roy, is it pulling back with lighter volume each day? or is it increasing volume? If it's increasing volume, you kind of stick, you stay out of the way and you wait for that 78 cent level out there. But that's that's all okay. I've got right now for you on fuel cell technology. Does that help you out? Appreciate it, it's perfect, thanks a lot. Oh, you bet, you bet, thanks so much for calling, much appreciated. That was Roy in Fort Worth, Texas out there. There was a big uh, cotton ball game in uh, Texas yesterday. That was a uh, that was a good game. Lots of football. Still lots of football. I'm doing well in the pool. Thanks for asking. Uh, number two. So my question today is uh, just a point behind the uh, the individual who's leading. And so my question today is what I'm really grappling with is uh, now that I'm in the running here and we've got these late games. So, for example, today we've got Boston College in Cincinnati, right? So Boston College here, the coach there is on the way out. I think they've got a number of starters that are gone or leaving or are sitting out. Um, it's only a, a Cincinnati, which is a good team, seven and a half point spread. But anybody have any information? On that, if you're in the den and you you know you follow football, and um, I'm thinking Cincinnati should be able to cover the point spread out there, uh, and then later on tonight you've got uh, Indiana and Tennessee, and the point spread there is just like three points or so, two and a half or three points. Um, but Tennessee is playing; they're playing in the it's the Gator Bowl, so they're playing. I believe they're playing. I gotta assume that they're well. It's a tax slayer tax slayer bowl. I've got to believe they're playing it. Well, let me just see where are they. No, they're yeah, they're playing in Jacksonville. So playing in Jacksonville, and if you folks, I live in South Florida. It is more south. It is more southern. Is really what I should say, in northern Florida than it is in southern Florida. So I'm thinking Tennessee. It's kind of a home game for them. Certainly much more of a home game than it is for Indiana. So I think Tennessee out there. But if you've got some ideas, please send me an email out there uh, because uh, you know I could use uh, all the information I can get can only say is uh, I haven't seen a, a, any Tennessee or Cincinnati games this year, so I don't have a good enough feel for that. Okay, enough about that. Let's get back to uh, Brent's question, right? Brent had asked about Baidu. Yeah, so let's go check out uh, Baidu. B-I-D-U is the uh, ticker symbol out here. And the same question, really, where's support, where's resistance? So nice day today in Baidu. Uh, Baidu taking off above the top of its daily profile. It was 129.38. It's above the weekly profiles. That's way down at 109.82. It's above the monthly profile. So Baidu... Uh, from a resistance standpoint, profile-wise, well above all of those levels, Brent. So let's go take a look at the daily time frame chart again using my other tools out here. Uh, this did top with the TD setup nine count. Remember, the responsibility of any topping or bottoming pattern, in this case here, topping pattern, is simply that you sellers have the right, and they should, be able to push price back to support. Well, where did this find support? Right where it should have, the bottom of its TAS daily profile. That's why we use these. 125.49, and it just simply has taken up north there. You've got another A to B equals CD pattern to the upside that is setting up inside of Baidu for its daily time frame chart. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're in a CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. 
That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. So you've got the uh, Dow up 170. S&P is up uh, nine points. We're taking a look at, we're going to go back and take a look at uh, Baidu uh, for uh, Brent. And so, Brent, when we take a look at the uh, monthly or the weekly chart, out, let's start with the weekly. We covered the daily for you. Uh, the weekly has resistance at 231.17. Uh, you're in wave count number C out here. I don't have any signals to suggest that you would uh, exit this trade anytime uh, soon out here. Uh, the monthly chart, uh, this is nice because uh, you're starting off uh, January nicely because price is above resistance. That was Stevie's red line. That's 128.17. Remember when that line turns colors out here, which it did um, it's just several months ago. It was in April of, uh, of last year. Uh, it tells us about a impending, uh, uh, an impending visit of price in Stevie's line regardless of the uh, color out there well you got that on uh, last month you got that on in December towards the uh, end of the uh, towards the end of uh, I think it might have been this week or the end of last week you got the test and a rejection but right now today price gaps up it's over it that's that's bullish so this would suggest Brent maybe a buck 66 is where it's going to find some resistance old support that's a TD nine count support that could become resistance I don't know if it will or it won't but it is an area that I would be watching but everything in here uh, looks uh, very positive as we speak right now at 143 in the afternoon so best of luck with that trade uh, Bodie writes in and asks the question uh, do we see any upside to uber U B E R? Bodie do you know when uber uh, started uh, began its business I, I do just happen to be coincidental I suppose uh, with the uh, March 2009 bottom in the uh, stock market yeah March of 2009 it's going to be March of 2020 very soon it says that in 11 years time they've never made a profit never made a profit out there now I've got to tell you the percentages of businesses that are around for 10 years is pretty small 
Um, I used to know the statistic off the top of my head, but I haven't done any presentations where I had to go refresh that uh, view out there. But it's it's uh, for te uh, in 10 years' time, you're in the 5% or less category out there. So they've at least done that. And they're a great service, no doubt about that, out here. But does it uh, really have any upside? Um, <laughs> you, you know... If you look, I, I realize that what we, you and I are doing here, we're we're certainly investing based upon what shareholders think. That's really what I don't do any fundamental analysis, but I did have to really throw out the fundamental aspect of Uber out here. And uh, you know, would you want to take this as a long-term investment? Uh, look, let me give you what it's doing right now, and you kind of go from uh, there. But uh, right now, 3089, which is the top of its daily profile, that is a level of resistance. We can't use the weekly or the monthly time frame. It just hasn't traded enough to be able to generate anything. The question would be, in the case of Uber, when it did bottom back here last month, uh, did it uh, generate any kind of bottoming pattern or signal to us? Well, price was moving lower, doing less relative energy. You can see that. And then we did get, or it did generate, a bullish reversal candle. That is required. It would uh, generate that bullish reversal candle on November the 12th out here. Where is it that Uber could go ahead and continue to move up to on this counter trend rally? Well, we'd say 33.36 would be one level. That's the TD9 count breakdown. 34.22 is another one, and 34.91. There's some substantial congestion up in that area. Uh, Bodhi, if you are uh, if you are long this, um, you know, did it generate a bottoming pattern? You know, from a trade standpoint on the daily basis, absolutely. So you and I can technically understand what the message was coming from uh, sellers out there. They had overstretched their stay, so to speak. But would I recommend? Um, you taking some type of long to trade this? Okay, some type of long term position in a company that's been around for 11 years hasn't even yet given guidance as to when or if it could possibly become profitable. Uh, my answer is uh, I think you can find better places to invest your. Uh, your hard-earned dollars out there, but that's you know that's just uh, that's just Stevie's thoughts with regard to Uber. Love the service, no doubt about it. And hey, look, you know what? They really should raise prices so that they can make money and then really see what the market is like out there. The reality is Uber, all they did was sold the story to you know everybody as they kept bringing in tranches and tranches and tranches. You know, and, and, and then when you finally got the first set of sellers out there, when it went uh, public, you know, that again, we're taking a look at the Uber. All you have to really do is take a look at the monthly chart out here. And what do you think people were doing? They were saying, sellers were saying, sorry, sorry, Charlie out there. So does Stevie think this has formed some type of significant bottom? I don't see it really in the uh, charts out there. Hector and the fuel injectors wants to take, oh, he's got uh, Cincinnati, like, uh, see, like Cincinnati um, and uh, Tennessee. Okay. All right. Good. Well, I've got Cincinnati and Tennessee, so we're in the same camps out there. Uh, no other questions. Uh, oh, I, I take that back. Uh, Mr. Bill wants to take a look at uh, DERM. D-E-R-M is the uh, ticker symbol. Thank you, Mr. Bill. Please fire away these questions, folks. I, uh, you know, we'll take a look at a couple other charts back. Um, just to Maybe we'll do that during the two-minute wrap-out here. But we take a look at uh, Dermira uh, is the actual name of the company. What a, what a uh, rocket this thing has uh, been on. Hey, above the daily, above the weekly, above the monthly profiles. So that is a uh, beautiful thing out here. The question is an A to B equals CD. What I really see on this is more of a consolidation than I do anything else. And it's really Mr. Bill in taking a look at the monthly time frame chart. Maybe there is an A to B equals CD pattern on the daily time frame. But really, I think the pattern that's most important here that is in play is this little consolidation. Right, that probably should have changed the color, but there's there's your box. Let's just instead of green, because there's already green on my screen out here, let's turn that to a, a yellow color. This is just consolidating right now. It hasn't broken out. Again, the ticker symbol here is D E R M. Price made its way back up to the uh, top. The top was the high from uh, the candle that formed on April the uh, during April of 2019. And so, um, you know, an A to B equals C D pattern on the daily time frame might get real cautious here because what we're taking a look at the 
monthly consolidation pattern, Mr. Bill. What the daily is saying, top, 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 top. Why? Because what you've got going on right now, I don't know what the end of the day session will be, but you, do, you right now have a, a bearish reversal candle. This is the dark cloud cover candle after a Rhodes momentum. It's not just the candle. I could care less about bullish and bearish reversal candles that are in the middle of a move. How do you know if it's in the middle of a move? Well, you use patterns, and as long as you use patterns and it's not present at the top or the bottom, that's just kind of interesting info. But where it does really matter and how you really should use, uh, this is my suggestion to you, just from years of experience out there, is you use these candles when a pattern is completing. If we take a look at when Durham bottom back here, it was the Rhodes Momentum Indicator bottom pattern generated that bullish reversal candle on October 17th. And now you've got the exact same pattern, but up at the top. Is price above support? It most certainly is. And that would be 13 bucks even Steven, 1357 and 1385. But this wants to pull back at the top of a monthly consolidation. I would be careful on ticker symbol D-E-R-M. We'll be right back. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average Average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, oil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN.
Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow's up 170, S&P 9, and NASDAQ up 88. Let's kind of do just a general overview of the markets, what to be looking for, what to write down on your pad of paper to watch for uh, as the market comes to a close and as futures uh, reopen uh, uh, later on this evening. They're open right now. But the numbers that I want you to be paying attention to, and the ES Mini is 32.54. There's really two numbers to be watching. The top of its daily profile, that's 32.42. If price closes below that, then we're the market is doing or the S&P or the ES mini it's just consolidating between support and resistance support 3216 resistance 3242 out there if price is trading above its all-time high or the 2019 high really is what I should say that's 3254 that's another number I'd be writing on your pad of paper you need to have some real serious significant topping signal to suggest that you would be short the market Yes, I'm still anticipating a market top. It's just a matter of timing that. So watch 32.54. In the case of the NQ, which has really been on a roar, uh, it's trading above and looks like it's going to close above the top of its profile. That was 87.69. That's the second day in a row. That's bullish uh, from that standpoint. But in order to really get bullish and say, hey, we've got a breakout underway that could last for, you know, well, I won't tell you the time period that it could last, but it's 88.43.50. Any close above that, you really don't want to be short the NQ. And the Dow, the levels, so really two levels, 28,625. Look, the Dow, the YM, it has a bearish structured profile. And any close today above 28,625, it's telling you that it wants to trade higher. But the real confirmation would be 28,721 out there. So for those three, that's what I would be watching. The spot volatility index, we didn't talk about it much. But if we do go take a look at it, we've got a trading below its 50-day exponential moving average out there. And that level is 1366. The spot volatility index wants to make a run down to the 1212 area. And if it's going to do that, you'll see the S&P and the ES Mini continue to trade higher. Folks, thanks so much for being here. Uh, stay tuned. Another great two hours of programming coming up. And I'll see you on fabulous and fantastic Friday. Take care. Have a terrific day.